What's up guys, welcome back to Man of the Spirit. Uh, today we got an awesome video for you guys, just shooting reef, reef fish right off the reef in uh, the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, this video is a, a few different dives uh, on Maui and on Oahu. And uh, stay tuned to the very end, because at the end you'll get to see uh, Uncle videotaping me coming out of the water getting taxed by a monk seal. So as always, uh, read your Bible, pray, and uh, if you like the content, like and subscribe. Shoots. What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we got an action-packed video for you today. We're gonna be harvesting some fish here in Hawaii and just having some fun. Jumping in the water right here. You know, this was so cool just seeing this school of fish. Uh, these are opelu, which are actually really good to eat. But this school of fish is always at this spot, almost always at this spot. And I come here to try and hunt Kamanu, which is a rainbow runner. They come around and they, they hunt this school in a really tactical way. They go on the outsides and just try and pick up the ones that are on the outsides and they rush them in the school, dart one way. So when the, when the fish is darting one way, I know there's a, a Kamanu on the other side. Here I'm diving on Oahu. This is a 80 foot drop, so I make sure to breathe up, make sure I got my dive buddy watching me, make sure we got the dive flag up. We actually took a couple of kayaks out to this spot. And from the top, we see what looks like an Alua house. And I drop down and check out this cave, but I wasn't super comfortable going this, this deep right on this day. So I just go down and back up. I don't spend any bottom time. My dive time has increased a lot since this dive, but at this point in time, 80 feet was my max. This was actually my, my best dive up until this point in time. So as you see, when I get back up, I'll do my hook breathing, which is you hold in your breath for a few seconds, you exhale, hold it for a few seconds. Notice how I hold my breath for a few seconds to make sure that I don't deplete myself from oxygen. Uh, right here, I'm shooting what's called a squirrel fish. You can see I had a papillo at the end of my gun. Sometimes when, if you forget your cooey or something like that, you could use your your shooting line as a old-fashioned cooey which holds your fish I don't really like to do that because you know it could pull your shooting line off the uh, line release but it'll work if you if you uh, don't have another option so that's a squirrel fish right there super super bony this is called an AP African Papano and uh, this was like one of the things that you man you dream about and beat yourself up about because it just didn't work out my my bungee was tied to my line release instead of to the shaft so there's no pressure on the shaft i couldn't shoot it you can go back and watch and see i pulled the trigger nothing happened this right here is a table boss they call it because 
it's the last fish on the table. It's the last one people want to eat if you have a lot of other good fish, but it's still good to eat. Uh, back on that school of Opelu. Now, these are good to eat, but also I like to shoot them and throw them so that the Kamano will come in and then I get a shot on the Kamano. This is a, a school of Moy right here. I thought it was a season for Moy, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't take the shot, even though you saw that was a, a nice big one. These are invasives. These are called Toao, and they're invasive to the Hawaiian Islands. You can shoot them, take them as much as you want. Uh, they're good to eat. They're good sashimi style, good fish fry. Right here, you could kind of, if you look hard, you could see that fish under that reef right there. That's called an avail veil. And similar, kind of the same family as Menpachi, but avail veil, really good fish fry. I know a couple of my friends, this is their favorite fish to eat. And also really fun just to, to catch them. All right, this one's important, especially for those experienced divers. Uh, here I got a new gun, it's got three bands, and this is what's called firing hot. If you noticed, I pulled the, I tried to pull the trigger two times there, but there's too much power from the bands and the trigger would not pull. So if you have too much power in your bands, uh, it's dangerous because it could fire your shaft without you wanting to, or it can make it really hard to pull this, uh, squeeze the trigger, which is called firing hot. So I had to take off one band, just use two. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be uploading some more videos soon. Uh, like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, drop a comment. And don't forget, God first, read your Bibles. Hey, buddy.